Hey and welcome to my channel, I'm Machine Dana. This video I'm going to show you as a streamer how you can change your bot account to be named and also off the back of that how you can also add colored text to your bot account and customize the color of the bot account text. Uh, the reason for this really, if you're a streamer you want to be paying as much attention as possible not to your bot of course but to your viewers, what your viewers are saying, responding to what they're saying and fully engaging with them with like virtually 100% of your efforts. You don't want even a slight little bit of degraded effort to be put towards your bots and things like that. Having a different colored text for the bot account responses or timers and commands, and raffles and things like that, that's gonna help you easily distinguish the difference between the bot uh, text and your viewers text and help you hone in your efforts onto your viewers text. This also is a much better experience for your users. So in this video I'm going to show you how to link Streamlabs Prime uh, bot account, how you can customize the name of that, how you can then change the text color and then apply that to all of your timers, to your commands, to your uh, responses and things like that. I have done different videos on both timers, on commands and various other things to do with Streamlabs Online. I've got something like 30 or 40 tutorial videos on Streamlabs, but please feel free to browse the playlist and I'll link those specific ones on timers and commands below. If you do find this video useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. That genuinely helps the visibility of the video and I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more videos of tutorials and streaming help and things like that, feel free to subscribe to me. You can also ask me any questions you want by jumping onto my stream daily at six o'clock UK time at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's get into it. First things first here, we want to be going to streamlabs.com, logging in with your Twitch credentials or YouTube gaming credentials. Then what you want to be doing at this point, uh, you need to navigate to CloudBot and name. Make sure that CloudBot is toggled on with this toggle here. Make sure that you forward slash mod Streamlabs in your chat. That will mod Streamlabs. And now that CloudBot is turned on, the right authorities are given. And because you've logged in with your Twitch credentials or YouTube credentials, it's also linked to your Twitch from that point of view. Now, by default, the Streamlabs bot account from CloudBot is this color. It's the Streamlabs branded sort of, uh, I don't know what, what color is that, like a greeny, bluey, cyan-y, teal-y. I have no idea what color that is. That color there. And it's also at Streamlabs. And that's the default Twitch bot name. So any responses from CloudBot in your chat will be at Streamlabs. If you have a Prime account, you've upgraded your Streamlabs online account to a Prime account, you get loads of benefits for that. Uh, just listed here. The main, for me, I think the main benefit is definitely the tips page. But having access to loads of different themes and apps uh, is really, really useful too. Uh, and of course, alert box themes. Uh, but naming your bot is also quite a big benefit as well. So first you want to be creating another Twitch account or a YouTube account if it's YouTube, a sec second bot account. You are allowed to do this if it's for the purpose, a functional purpose, like having a named bot on Twitch. As long as you're not using that second bot account to falsify numbers or spam or whatever else. If you do upgrade your Streamlabs online to a Prime account, a Streamlabs Prime account, it will save you money if you use my affiliate code which i've linked in the description i think it's like 10 or 20 dollars completely free of charge all you have to do is literally click the link when you make the purchase uh, it also helps me too you've got the option to go through the the rigmarole of actually creating an account but if you've already got a second account that you can use here where you already like the username of that account you can just simply click here to add it now by default it will try and add whoever you're logged in as i'm currently logged in as my main account so obviously I don't want my main account to be my bot account because I want my chat to see when I'm talking versus when a bot is talking. It's also not advisable for a few other technical reasons as well. Streamlabs don't advise it and I don't think Twitch advise it either. So I'm, I don't want to authorize myself to be the bot account here. What I want to do is log out here, log in with my bot credentials. You'll then be asked for a, a Twitch authorization key if you are using two-factor authentication, which I strongly would advise doing. Now, at this point, instead of me, uh, it's my bot account that it's asking to authorize. I'm going to go ahead and authorize there within Streamlabs. It removes the tab to close it, and then it will. It should, after a few seconds, and you'll see it confirmed in the right-hand corner here, which is linked to that as my account. So now that we've got a customized account name, for the bot on CloudBot from, from Streamlabs online. What we now want to do is actually go and customize the color of the text for the bot. Now to do this, 
by default now I will have been logged out here of of Twitch. So I'll just oh well, now I'm logged in as my bot account instead because I've just logged in using the credentials there. Just go onto any channel, click onto chat. And once you're in the chat panel here on the right hand side, you can click this cog here. Bear in mind I'm logged in as my bot here. And I can choose the identity by clicking on that bot. I can see that the bot is already modded because I forward slash modded it in my machine data chat. So in this channel, Girth Machine is a mod. What you've then got the option to be able to do is click on the identity. You can click on more cores here. Now, I think by default, unless you're an actual streamer, you are a viewer and this is a Twitch Turbo function to be able to customize the hex value of your color. And for that reason, when I click this, it will take me to the billing screen. But if you're a streamer and you've streamed, then I think that that's a free option because you've by default got a tier three subscription to your own channel. But either way, I can change the color of this to whatever color I want. And then you get a confirmation in chat of your color change. So we've linked to the bot. We've changed the color of the bots by default. Now all we need to do is go and change the color of the text in all of the commands, the responses and the timers. Now this is the bit that takes a little bit of time. You're probably going to spend 20 minutes, maybe half an hour of your time doing this. A worthy investment because when it's done, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. But when it's done, it makes a big difference to chat. So first of all, in commands, you want to go into these and edit any commands that you've got already and put forward slash me before any text. That forward slash me basically says it's a command to Twitch within the chat that says call this text the same color as my name text. So you literally need to do that for every single one of your commands or you may have specific commands that you want to be called and others that you're not bothered about being called in which case do it for the ones that you want to be called. This is in custom. Make sure you go into the default commands as well. These are default commands that are already here by default from Streamlabs Online and not the custom ones. They also put responses in chat from your bot account, in which case you need to also edit these and have the forward slash me in all the different responses as well. As you can see, I've done that in literally every single one. You can ignore variables, but if you've got within the settings, the cooldown messages, the cost messages and the permission messages turned on, you'll just need to put forward slash me on those as well. That should mean that your commands in themselves are called. Now we need to go into timers. You can literally go into these, edit your timers with forward slash me as well. And they are also now colored. Now let's just have a quick look now that I've done that on a previous broadcast of mine, what it exactly looks like on chat. They instantly stand out. This is a, com a command response from my bot account with this, the call writing here saying one of my mods has changed the name to just chatting because I've, oh, as it happens, I'm <laughs> doing a giveaway within Streamlabs Online here. So we've got a raffle here. Someone's done a, a cake command. They just ordered a cake and too bad this is not a cake shop. So there you go. <laughs> some, there's some stupid commands that I've got on the channel. Uh, but there's also a, a Discord timer that's come up there. And then uh, another cake command. Now people are doing exclamation point raffle to join the raffle. And the text responses are coming back as purple. That's really, really good. It looks like one of them there has not been done. So I probably need to check which one that is and just update that specific one. And that's just it. As you can see now, if I'm quickly as the streamer reading this, I can read the text, I can read the text, and I can focus my time on the white bits rather than the, the bot bits. Now, obviously, that's a quite an extreme example because there's a raffle and a load of people are engaging with the bot at that particular time. But um, if you are high volume chat like I do, or if you're doing events where you've got a lot of responses from bots, that will just help you focus on the viewers chat rather than anything else. So there you go, just a really simple, quick, easy tool. You only really have to do it once. It makes a big difference to how you can engage with your chat and how much time and focus you put on your chat versus uh, other things. Once again, if you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, feel free to subscribe. If you've got any questions whatsoever, visit me at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana daily. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Take care.